Um, I'm happy to be here tonight to introduce uh, Christian, who's just a really wonderful um, ambassador in multiple ways for Clark College. So Christian started at Clark in the fall of 2013 and has taken kind of a non-traditional path through his time here at Clark, but you think he's going to explain a little bit more while he's up here. We met last year when he applied to be a student ambassador. Um, of course, he was hired, and we could just see his real devotion to wanting to serve students and be a leader um, at Clark and in the community. So um, we're really excited um, to be able to have him share his story tonight. And so with that, Christian, if you'd um, want to come up, and this is Christian Jameson. Welcome. How's everyone doing? Great. <laughs> when, uh, when Amy first brought me into office and started telling me they were looking for a, a student ambassador to do this speech tonight, I was thinking she wanted my opinion on who they wanted, so I was already getting a little list together. Like, I think Malia or Spencer would be pretty good, and then she said me, and I was like, really? Is that your choice? But uh, my story starts about 25 minutes north of here, 15 if I'm driving in the center of Washington. It's a really small school. I've been there from kindergarten all the way to when I graduated. But when I graduated, I really didn't think that college was for me. I, uh, I was at a pretty impressionable age in 2001, and with the events that happened on 9-11, that leaves a mark on you. And then growing up, having multiple members of my family deployed in the Middle East, I thought that when I turned 18, when I was, when I was ready, that was what I was supposed to do. It was my turn to go and, and pay it forward. So I wanted to uh, join the military, but wasn't exactly sure which branch yet. I was a first-generation college student as well, so that was kind of the norm to not attend college. I actually came to Clark because while I was interviewing at the different recruiting offices, I learned that across the board, as long as I had about 20 college credits, I'd actually get promoted prior to going to any boot camp. So I picked up, I uh, went here for about two quarters, and then I finally came to my senses and decided to join the Marine Corps, shipped out to boot camp, and I was gone for about a full year in different training environments. When I returned home, I decided that I was actually going to attend Clark. I decided to join the reserves because when I was interviewing at the different recruiting offices, I learned about the officer programs, and those are really the leaders of leaders, and that's something that I wanted to do. But I decided to come back to Clark because I called a lot of my friends that were at four-year universities, and I just asked them a few simple questions. You know, what's your college experience like? Uh, what are your classes like? What are your professors like? And I found out that Clark is actually systematically better than pretty much every four-year university. Even though they were at colleges uh, across the country from the west coast to the east coast, their stories were all pretty much the same. They had a couple hundred kids in a very large lecture hall. They had no one-on-one -on -one interaction with their professors. If they had any questions they needed, they had to go to a tutoring center or they had to go meet with one of the aides. And not that those aides aren't great and extremely helpful, but they don't compare to someone that's been teaching a subject for 20 years. Not to mention they're paying about twenty-five dollars to $60,000 a year to attend these universities. Meanwhile, I spend less in a full year here than they do a quarter at their university. Also, what I realized at Clark is that we have great class size. It's usually just about over 20 students. And the professors here are incredible. And I can't think of a better example than my geology professor, Char Charlene Montier. It's really easy to take a class that you're interested in, that you like, you're familiar with, go in and have a good time, but to walk into a science lab, and you're a political science major, with no experience or interest in rocks, and to have a professor that is so engaging and so passionate about their subject that you can't help but get excited too and really get engaged in the coursework, it, that just doesn't happen at many universities, let alone at community college like Clark College. It's been an honor to be in one of her classes, and I've actually, as soon as even uh, I was able to register about four weeks in the quarter, the first class I looked up was for her next geology class. That was my top priority in the coming quarter. This is actually going to be my final quarter at Clark, and the change I've seen since I became a Marine has been tremendous. Once you go to Marine Corps boot camp, everything else in life is easy. They, uh, in the same way that you strengthen a muscle, they strengthen your stress level by stressing you out every single day. So when I came back to Clark, I was very much different than I was when I left. I was just an average college student, though, I would say, beforehand. But now, I can take, instead of doing the about 12 credits, I can take 15 to 18, still have a 4.0, make the uh, vice president's honor roll list. 
I'm the vice president of the Veterans Club on campus. I still do weekend drills for the Marine Corps Reserves and annual trainings as well. Not to mention I'm also a student ambassador, but I think those already brought up at some point. The student ambassador program has been an incredible experience. It's allowed me to become familiar with every aspect of Clark, even aspects I didn't know existed because I didn't know all the resources that were really available here. I've also had the unique experience of attending events like this or alumni events where they want me to come up and speak or, or meet different people from the community, so I've really valued that. I think the most rewarding thing though has been having a, a new student that comes in that they're really nervous, they don't know what they're doing, they, like, they think they want to go to college but they're not exactly sure, so they're just kind of like looking around and I, I ask them if I can help them out and then they come back every step of the way. So, all right, they filled out their application, now what? Well, okay, well now you have to go do testing. Like, testing? Whoa. Help them out with that, and then they come back and they, uh, they do their online orientation, and now they're ready to register for classes, and I get to help them out with that a little bit. And then what's the most rewarding part is when I walk into the library, or I walk around campus, and I see them with a textbook out, doing their homework. And it's just really cool to have been a part of that, and to really help them get started on their college experience. As soon as I finish with Clark, I attend on transferring to a four-year university, hopefully University of Washington. And uh, <laughs> I'll be majoring in <laughs> science, like I said. Are you going to send that to the university? Yeah, I'm going to send that to watch. I heard this is going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been accepted into the platoon leaders course, however, so upon completion of two six-week trainings and a bachelor's degree, I'm actually going to be commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. And then I will head off to the basic school. Thank you. Thank you. Head off to the basic school for another uh, like boot camp 2.0. Very excited. Increase that stress level some more. And uh, as soon as I finish with that enlistment, I'm not sure how long I plan on staying in, but I do also plan on pursuing a law degree as well. With hopefully the GI Bill being important. I also heard there's going to be some pretty grueling questions from the, uh, the audience here. So, without further ado, wouldn't you like to uh, show me something up here? Oh, no, I'll turn it to the Army guy. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> well, I have two comments. Okay. Number one, when you walked up, I knew that you had been a Marine. That's the haircut. You got it. Nice haircut. <laughs> uh, my father was a Marine. That's why I went in the Army. <laughs> <laughs> and he understands exactly what I'm saying. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. And thank you for your service. Oh, God, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you for your service. And you are a really powerful ambassador. Yeah. Not yeah. just on the campus here, but uh, I'm just excited for you to get outside the campus and tell the world what you're talking about, about community colleges and, and what you just described. You are changing a lot of lives. Uh, walking in the shoes, you know, the path that you have, clearly you can relate to the people that are here. and. Mm -hmm helping them over those first hurdles that nobody else can do because they don't have anybody in their family. You know this being a first generation. Uh, so I have no doubt that you have affected literally hundreds of people here because they will tell their friends and help them too. You teach one person, they can teach the next. So outstanding. Thank you. I noticed that there's a, a lot of shame among some people about attending a community college. It's like yeah. something they didn't really want to say. And once I learned how great Clark really is and all the resources available, I'm very proud to say that I've been to Clark College, and I do plan on picking up one of those bow ties to wear around. <laughs> <laughs> so the, <laughs> the grilling question seems yeah. to be a big fat lie, so and you bought it. <laughs> I was just going to give you a compliment to you. <laughs> <laughs> I do I, genuinely like I, the bow tie. Yeah, I was going to say, Christian, you see Christian all over campus, and he's a great ambassador. He sure. always looks like this. I mean, he's sharp, and you can yeah. spot him. Yeah, he's like sure. yeah, and full disclosure, the Clark College bookstore is selling Clark College long ties <laughs> and bow ties now, oh. so in case you need to run down and get your uh, Clark College gear. It just unfortunately takes me about 30 minutes to actually time one of those in a mirror with two tutorial videos. So, you not have time tonight. You, you've been a great ambassador for us. Thank you, I appreciate that. And and I have no we're doubt. lucky to have you as an officer. Yeah. Thank you. And I have no doubt, no doubt that you will succeed in your desire to get into the legal profession. You will be a very super challenging attorney. <laughs> I hope so. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank Wonderful. you.